ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. down there. Coach, turn over. You better get there in a hurry. The driver, poor devil. The arrow belonged to the tribe of Chief Red Hawk. You're right. It is Red Hawk. Kimasabi, that man have two holsters, only one gun. It's strange that he has any gun at all. We better look around. Me no see any passengers. Maybe Indians take. That's possible. They didn't take much else. I wonder if something frightened them off. Maybe Indians only want people. If they had a chance. Why didn't they steal something? Where's shot come from? Behind that rock. Keep down while I make sure. from behind that rock. Come on with your hands higher. We're coming in after you. A papoose. Aren't you a little young to be carrying a gun? I don't have any money, mister. Honest, I don't. We're not after your money, son. You're wearing a mask. That doesn't mean we're bandits. We're friends. Where are the other passengers? There weren't any others. You mean you were traveling all alone? I'm old enough to take care of myself. I'm sure you are. But any man in trouble can stand a little help. What happened? Indians chased us. The horses ran away and turned the coach over. That's when I got knocked out. Why Indians no find you in coach? I was thrown under some mail, and I guess they didn't see me. When I crawled out, I, I, I found Mr. Wade. He was dead. Then you heard us coming, grabbed his gun, and tried to shoot me. I was kind of scared, and when I saw that mask... <laughs> That's all right, son. Were you headed for Coltsville? Mm-hmm. My father's the Indian agent there. To prove I don't hold grudges against men who shoot at me, I'll ride you in. Have you got a valise? Just a bundle. I travel sort of light. Find it and we'll get started. Donald, there's something strange about this. Get the driver's guns. Well, you do travel light. Up you go. We'll get you to your dad in no time. Jim, here we are, at your dad's house. Yeah. For a fellow that's come so far, you don't seem very excited. Oh, excited? Well, sure, only... Only what? Well, you see, he's not expecting me so soon. Is he expecting you at all? So that's it. You ran away from St. Louis. Well, a fellow should be with his dad, not cooped up with a couple of old maid aunts. I don't care if he does get mad. Jim, would it help if I went in and kind of prepared him? Gee, would you? Well, if you could sort of get him used to the idea. I'll try. You stay here with Tuttle. Oh, swell. Thanks. Come in. I wouldn't reach for that rifle, Mr. Douglas. What do you want? Sorry to pull a gun on you, but people jump to conclusions when they see this mask. I'd like to talk to you. What about? For one thing, your son. Jim? Well, how do you... Anything happened to him? No, but he's lucky to be alive. Indians attacked the stage this morning. Jim was on it. What? You mean Jim is here? Well, I, I can't believe it. Right outside. I'll call him. All right, Jim. He ran away, you know. He must be pretty fond of you and pretty unhappy about St. Louis to come all this way by himself. But he's just a boy. <laughs> Not anymore. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. 
How are you? I'm glad to see you. Then this Indian threat is serious. So serious, I didn't want the boy to hear. That's why I sent him away with Tonto. What started it, Mr. Douglas? Red Hawk claims a white man shot his brother. Since then, bonds have been burned, cattle run off. This was stuck in my door last night. I saw some like it this morning. The ranches are all stirred up. There's talk of raiding the Indian reservation. Does Red Hawk have any firearms? No. The raid would be a massacre. Result, Indian uprisings all over the West. An Indian war right now would threaten the development of this entire region. Have you been able to talk to Red Hawk? No, not for a week. The Indians are as worked up as the ranchers. It's like watching a fuse burn on a powder keg. I think that... Somebody riding up. Gorham. More trouble, probably. What's happened? Douglas, I... Who is he? Oh, a friend. I'm not being held up. This is Tom Gorham, head of our Cattlemen's Association. I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Gorham. They say you never carry a gun. I've never felt the need for a gun or a mask. I find them both useful at times. I have no doubt of that. There was a meeting this morning. We're going after Red Hawk. But you promised to use your influence. I'm a peaceful man, but I'm practical. They hit my place last night. Cut fences, drove off and killed my prize cattle. We're forming a posse. The association knows I'll never allow them to enter the reservation. How can you stop them? I represent the government here. That's why we want you with us. It's your duty. It's my duty to prevent a war. Mr. Gorham, did you know the stage was attacked this morning? What? The driver was murdered and Mr. Douglas's son nearly escaped. That's all the more reason he should ride with us. I don't agree. There was something peculiar about that attack. What do you mean, peculiar? Just that. I'd like to see where your fences were cut. That is, if you're still interested in settling this thing peacefully. Do you know something about this you haven't told us? I can tell you more about this after I've seen your place. Very well. Good. I'll get Toto. You see, I'm a reasonable man. After your friends looked around, I'll expect you to be reasonable, too. Too many footprints. If I knew what you were looking for, perhaps I could help. My men went over this section. So we see. Too bad with such a fine herd you didn't post guards. I don't hire guards. They're like chips on a man's shoulder. Is that why you never carry a gun? Partly. And if you'll pardon me, I also believe that an intelligent man can get what he wants without one. That depends upon what he wants. Perhaps. Incidentally, what was so peculiar about that stagecoach attack? The driver still had his guns. Indians on the warpath would have taken them. Why, they just overlooked them. You can't overlook a gun that's been shooting at you. Kimasabe. Look what me find. Looks like part of a necklace. Or a bracelet. Well, what difference? It's still Indian. I guess you're right. Seems we'll have to pay Red Hawk a visit. Well, that's insane. You'll be killed. We're accustomed to taking risks. Just what are you looking for, stranger? I can tell you more after we get back. Come on, Tonto. What the devil? Oh, I'm sorry. That was clumsy of me. I'm all right. Let's go. Gorham isn't as harmless as he pretends. He may not wear a gun, but he carries a knife. Me wonder why you fall against him. I became suspicious when he said those beads were part of a necklace. A necklace that breaks accidentally doesn't fall into parts. It makes one long strand. You think somebody cut necklace and plant part of it? I'm sure of it. You stay here. Keep your eye on Gorham. You not see Red Hawk alone. It may be plenty dangerous. A man without a gun can be just as dangerous. If I'm not back in three hours, follow my trail. What's the matter? You stupid, trigger crazy, blundering idiot. Two million in gold on that Indian land and you almost wrecked the whole plan. I'd done what you told me to. I didn't tell you to leave guns on the driver. That was supposed to be an Indian raid, remember? That's why you're all dressed up like Indians. What's guns got to do with that? Real Indians would have stolen them, you fool. Did somebody find out? Not yet, but a man in a mask is asking questions. If it hadn't been for him, Douglas would have given in. Oh, why don't you forget Douglas? We got folks so riled up, they're itching to kill Indians. Killing Indians won't get me that gold mine. I want the government involved. Douglas ain't the government. He's just a two-bit Indian agent. They'll stand by him if he's mixed up in an Indian war. When the Indians are wiped out, the government will open their land for settlement. 
Then we claim the gold. I'm glad you follow me. Incidentally, that was Douglas's kid you found in the coach. I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That's better this way. I want Douglas to know what's happening to his precious son. You mean we're going to kill the kid now? Uh, something like that, but we've got to work fast. The masked man suspects something. Where is he? He's gone to see Red Hawk. Then forget him. After the job I'd done on his brother, Red Hawk will murder the first white man he sees. I come as friend, not as prisoner. No man with hidden face, friend of Indian. Take mask from face. Chief Swift Eagle calls me friend. He knows the one who bears silver bullets. Rousseau, no carol. Thanks. Red Hawk make bad welcome. I understand. White man kill brother. Steal cattle, burn teepees. White men say the same about Red Hawk. White men lie. Indian live in peace. Someone wants war. I don't know why. Today, Indian got nothing left white man want. And that's the white man. May I look at your necklace? Mm. Beads are identical. I see now why they couldn't let us find the rest of the necklace. Who else has a necklace like this? Many moons ago, my brother Hayaka make two the same. Man who killed him steal his necklace. Of course. And they planted part of these to implicate your people. May I borrow this necklace? You... you take them? This will help clear your people and expose the real criminals. I want you to keep your braves in camp. Don't let anything provoke a fight. Go in peace. Keep on eating like that, you'll be bigger than I am. I grew two inches last year. I believe it. Say, Dad. Yes, son. You're not really going to send me back, are you? Well, Jim, naturally, I'd like to have you with me, but this isn't the proper place for a young boy. I'm not a young boy. I'm grown up. Well, perhaps you are. But frankly, Jim, if it wasn't for this Indian trouble, I'd consider it. But right now, it's, it's too risky. It's just as risky for you, isn't it? Oh, but that's different. It's my duty to be here. My... Hello, Tom. I didn't hear you right up. Have you decided to join us? Where's the masked man and the Indian? I think they decided it wasn't healthy around here. They left in a hurry. Oh? And Tano was going to show me more rope tricks. You haven't met my son. This is Jim. Hello. Well, I want to know if you're with us or against us. I'm against you if it means murdering defenseless Indians. Defenseless. Only a blind fool could say that. I don't like your tone, Gorham. I'm being practical. For a man who won't carry a gun himself, you're quick to ask others to use theirs. I'm trying to save lives and property. And I'm trying to prevent a war. If you ranch is right against Red Hawk... Duck out, boy. So hurt. Let go of me, you renegade! Let get help! Help somebody! Ernie! Oh, you little brat. I'll teach you to fight. You're a white man. You're gonna be sorry you ever found that out. I'm gonna shut your mouth permanent. Hurry up, we gotta get out of here before Douglas comes to. Let boy go. You, you're not deaf. Turn boy loose. We count three, then shoot. All right, it's in your cupboard. Can't you do anything without botching it? Take them to the canyon hideout. You two get back to my place. I'll need you to get that posse started. Now get going. Won't you ever learn anything? Take that rifle with you. What happened? Look after him. 
What happened? Indians. Jim. Jim. Duck down, boy. My rifle. Jim isn't here, Mr. Douglas. Pull yourself together. Not here. The Indians. They took him. Of course they did. If you'd listened to me, this wouldn't have happened. It's not too late. Round up a posse. I'll get him back if I have to kill every Indian in the country. It takes time to organize a posse. Then stop wasting it. You're in no condition to ride. Gorm can round up the ranchers. Now you're talking like a practical man. I'll have the men meet us here. You can join us then. We'll make Red Hawk sorry he started this. I found Tonno's knife outside. He must be with your boy. I only care about Jim. The shoes on Tonno's horse are marked. They make an easy trail to follow. I'll go on ahead. What about the posse? Forget the posse. Indians didn't take your son. Oh, you're crazy. I saw them myself. The British saw Indians at the Boston Tea Party. What do you mean? I haven't time to explain. I have to get to Jim before that posse rides. You see if you can delay them. Well, why should I? Watch the look on Gorham's face when you tell him I'm going after your son. All right, boys. Round up the ranchers. Have them meet at the Douglas place. We're taking a shortcut to the canyon. I'm making sure Slag doesn't botch things this time. down and make sure of him. Then come on back to the cabin. Right. So when we get them engines run off, the gold will be there just for the taking. And there isn't going to be any masked man stopping us, or any sneaking engine, or any young kid. Why aren't you telling us about it? Just offhand like. Can you think of anyone safer to tell? You let boy go. Shut up, engine. I'm doing the talking. Now, like I was saying, we aim to... Not be afraid, Jim. Help come real soon. You wait. I can't help it, Tom. I'm scared. You've been plenty brave. You brave man. All right, Tom. I'll keep trying. I see Slack's made you comfortable. What did you do to my dad? He's not the one to worry about. You let boy go. Even with your low mentality, you must know that's impractical. You not get gold, you get hung. If it's your masked friend you're thinking about, he's no longer in a position to interfere. He's dead. You lie. Me not believe that. At least this once. I can afford to tell the truth. What are you going to do to us? Isn't that rather obvious? Violence is always the result of stupidity. In this case, your father's. You mean you're going to... Exactly. Slack rather enjoys killing. Go ahead. Not that, you fool. This has got to be blamed on Red Hawk. Use a bow and arrow. I hope you'd fall for that old possum trick. Which one first? That doesn't matter. This is going to be a real pleasure. Stop playing cat and mouse. Get it over with. I just want to see how much the engine can take. All right, this is it. Oh, so you want to play, huh? All right. This is for you. I'm not scared anymore. I'm not afraid of either one of you. Go ahead and shoot. That's just what I aim to do. Jim. I'm 
fine. You did all the fighting. Who are you, Tonto? Me all right, Kimasabi. For dead man, you hit plenty hard. Jim, I'll have to get you and those two back in a hurry. So that's the whole story, gentlemen. And there are your criminals. But how did you know there was gold on Red Hawk's land? Look at the gold in Red Hawk's necklace. His brother had one like it, too. Letting us find part of that necklace was another one of your stupid mistakes. Come on. After what you told the boy and the Indian in the cabin, we have enough evidence to hang you all twice. Move. You haven't any excuse to send me back now, have you, Dad? I'll never let you out of my sight. Gee, for a minute, I thought you didn't like me. Oh, not a chance, son. Not a chance. And now I owe these gentlemen... Well, where did they go? Well, I wanted to thank them. I don't even know who they are. Gee, Dad, if you want to start living with me, you'll have to learn about the West. Why, they're Tonto and the Lone Ranger. <laughs>